how to change add to cart button color in Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can change the add to cart color on your Shopify storefront. So if we take a look at any of our products over here, we can see that the add to cart button by default is in a black and white color. Now, if you go on ahead and go into your online store, and you decide to customize this button you can just go on ahead and open that up over here you're still going to run into an issue in terms of coloring because if you click on this there is no option to actually change the color so how can you do this well i'm going to show you guys a really simple trick to doing this and i'm going to make it as simplified as possible so that everyone can follow along now, to follow along, first off, you need to open up your Shopify dashboard. And keep in mind, we are going to be editing the code of our store. So I'm going to make it as simple as possible, but I'll show you guys a really simple technique to ensure that you always have a original version of your Shopify store to go back to. Now, to do this, the first thing you're going to do is click on online store on the left panel. Once you click on online store, you will have your current theme. So in my current theme, I'm going to click on these three dots and then I'm going to click on duplicate. And this will create a copy of my current theme in my theme library. So in the unfortunate situation where you might accidentally mess up any of the code or accidentally, you know, have any issues with the change of the button color, you can always revert back to the original copy of your theme. Now, once we have done that, we are going to click on these three dots again and then click on edit code. Now, once you click on edit code, this will open up the Shopify code editor and directly on the top left under the layout folder, you will see a section called theme.liquid. If you can't see it, just close all of these sections, open up layout and go to theme.liquid or just type in theme.liquid and it will appear over here. Now, once you open up theme.liquid, you can scroll and search for slash or bracket slash bracket body. So here the body text starts. And if I scroll down, I'm pretty sure the body text ends over here. So you can just scroll to the bottom or if you are using a different theme, the body section in theme.liquid might be in a different position. So in that particular situation, press command F or shift F. So once you do that, just search for, in the find section, search for body and then click on next. And this will show you all the sections where body is present. So just click on next, 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 next. And then you can just scroll down and see the highlighted places where body is present. Or if you want to make this a lot easier for yourself, just type in forward slash body, then click on next. And this will automatically lead you to the bottom of theme.liquid. Now, this is at the bottom for me. Because I am using the Dawn theme, but if you are using a different theme, it might be located elsewhere within the themes code. Just find it under theme.liquid forward slash body. Now, once you have found this, you're going to click on the line before it and click on return. And the reason for that is just click on return a couple of times to create a little bit of a empty space above the forward slash body section. This is really important because people often paste in the new code below it and that does not yield a result to actually have the code be effective. It needs to be present within the body section. Now, once you have created a space like this above the forward slash body section, you're going to open up this page and I will leave a link to this down below. So I am just going to copy this over here. Now, once we copy this, we are going to go back into our store code and then you're just going to paste it over here. Now, once you have pasted your code, it's time to actually choose the color. So you might say, how do I know what color am I using? Well, you will see in this code, there's one section called background and one section called color. So from here, you can choose the background color and the text color. To add a color of your choice, simply search for the color picker on Google. Now in the color picker, I will select a pink color because that is my favorite color. And once I pick out this color, I can go on ahead and copy the hex code. Just copy the hex code from here. And once you do that, go back into your Shopify store code. 
and then replace the code. Now, this is really important to remove the hashtag that they have and make sure you copy your own hashtag or just copy it correctly. Make sure it's hashtag whatever the hex code number is. Now, this is the color of the text for the color of my background. Let's say I want to use a really pale blue. So I'll just select this color from here. I think this looks pretty cute. I'll just copy that over here and then go back into my code editor and I'll paste it in place of the background section. Now, once you have made these changes, you're going to click on save on the top, right? Then click on preview store. And once you click on preview store, we're going to open up our product page and you guys can see our customization. So we have a bright pink text with a pale blue background. Now your color combos can really make a big impact on how your button is going to look like. I always recommend creating a high contrast button, but your color scheme or your color family should be aligned. So a, another way to improve this is to either use complementing colors so I can use something like this magenta and yellow or something that is opposite in the color wheel. You can find a lot of information about color theory to further boost this but if I use this pink color as a background so I will use this as the background of my button over here and once I do that for the Text color, let's say I want to use a black or maybe like a rust color like this. And then I'll just copy this over here, go back into my code editor, and then paste that over here like this. Once I've done that, I can click on save and then click on preview store once more on the top right. And just like that, we will see a different color variation so you guys can see now this looks a lot better than our previous color scheme because it has you know it follows the basic premises of color theory now keep in mind there are infinite possibilities and infinite shades that you can pick out from once you have chosen your permanent preference for your add to cart buttons simply click on exit on the top left and just like that there you have it a new color of your add to cart buttons now if you want to add something a bit more elevating to your store such as a color swatch for your product like i have inserted over here so not in this particular one but i have inserted color swatches over here so it's a really simple technique to add color swatches as well and i have a separate video titled about color swatches so you can check that out because having a customized button and then having things such as color swatches can really help elevate the overall appearance of your shopify store i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did find this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any questions or queries about shopify or any other platform leave those in the comment box down below i would love to know what you guys have to say and i will catch you guys in the next video